70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72.22 over by the good folks. This autumn has been unseasonably warm, as in it's 16 degrees in October, and by now, usually I'm in 13 layers. I'm just gonna use it to my advantage with these full fit. I got inspiration from this fit because I've been watching a lot of Studio Ghibli films for my dissertation lately, and I wanted to do like a modern remake of Kiki's delivery service fit. It's like all the colors opposite ways. We have my favorite patches I've ever made. I think every day that's 16 year old Sophie bought these red boots even though she had no fucking reason to buy them because they are my babies. They are my children. I paired it with this like faux leather mini skirt and then this like red calf kitson little bag. My favorite thing about this fit though however is not the boots. The boots do have their moment but it's the tie. I've been looking for an outfit to wear this tie with for ages and I stole this jumper from my friend <laughs> over the summer and I was like oh my god I can finally coordinate these colors together. And then of course the beret. The beret is a staple item. But yeah, I just want to rock up onto my creative writing lectures and make sure that everyone knows I'm gay. Like that is the priority for my final year. Twenty twenty one is the year that I am stepping out of my comfort zone with colors and patterns and all that jazz. And this outfit is the pinnacle of that. The red skirt that then crashes with the red boots that is also tied in with this lemon yellow turtle neck, which is incredibly soft, y'all. Like it's so fucking soft. I love it so much. And then to have like flower earrings and a headscarf that is in the same colors as the skirt, but in a completely different pattern and material. And then not only that, to add more more clips than are necessary onto said headscarf. Y'all, this outfit could have been a hot mess, as well as the fact that it's also given me Tina Burner vibes from Drag Race season 13, which is kind of despicable, but it's also very camp. But for some reason it works. I don't know what it is about it. I just really fucking love this outfit. I feel very cool. I forget that straight people exist and straight people's non-existent love for color exists when I'm wearing this outfit. Cause it's like, I put on these red boots, I put on the skirt, I put on the headscarf and I'm like, I am only going to be perceived by the LGBT plus community today. I fucking love autumn, as you can probably tell. Do I love the seasonal depression she gives me? Absolutely not. And you may be thinking, Sophie, why the hell are you talking about seasonal depression when you look like a fucking goddess? And I agree with you, I do look like a goddess. And that's because I have a funny little thing called a god complex, which likes to pop out really hard in Scorpio season, just as I get seasonal depression. It is not a good mix, y'all. Being in Scorpio season with a Scorpio rising and also getting seasonal depression at the same time is like a mixture from hell. So this is where this outfit comes Comes in. I look like a bad bitch with these knee-high boots. They they made me feel like I could literally crush a man with a heel. Like, I, I can't tell you how powerful they make me feel. Along with this all black monochromatic fit. Ah! Yes, the god complex is popping out. So this is like my remedy. When my seasonal depressed ass doesn't have enough energy to think of what colors go with what and all that color fairy shit, I just put on an all black fit and put on these boots and I will feel like a god. A depressed god, but a god nonetheless. <laughs> In this outfit, this is what I would wear if I was gonna go to a very nice cafe, if I was gonna do one of my poetry nights that I help host. Again, the main staple point of this outfit, I feel like, is the tie. Ironically, it is a tie about maths, as in it literally has math equations on it. I haven't touched maths since I was 17 years old. However, it does give that very dark academia vibe, especially paired with the checkered shirt, and then the layers, of course, of the black silk dress and the turtleneck underneath. Mm, I love this fit so much. It's also very cute with black knee-high socks and then of course the pinnacle moment of my accessories that everyone loves to comment on is my glasses chains that have been a great investment y'all yo i see it i see a gay person and i'm wearing these glasses chains and the first thing they point out oh my god i love your glasses chains like yes me too me too friend me too <laughs> As 
much as I like to romanticize studying, my dyslexic and possibly ADHD ass does not actually like the studying process. So sometimes I am very low in energy. I have no brain cells left. I cannot think of an outfit, but I still want to look put together. So I like to call this fit of something I would usually wear to the library when I'm running on like five different hot drinks, but no food substance. And my brain is just my lecturer's voice. And then the random readings about medieval writings in all churning in my head. Um, this outfit is very, very simple. It's just high-waisted pants, which I love. They're very soft. They do make me feel like I'm out of Jurassic Park when I wear them with just a shirt. Then of course, black turtleneck. Black turtleneck is a staple piece of clothing, y'all. You, if you don't have a black turtleneck, go get one now. Like you can put that with any single outfit and it looks so good. Like, trust me. And you can make layers as well. Speaking of layers, did this dad shirt actually provide me with any warmth that I will need? Absolutely not. Does it make my outfit look 10 times gayer? Yes. So therefore it is a staple part of this fit. Autumn self-care dates just hit fucking different. Walking along the canals with the leaves changing. I have a caramel oat milk latte in one hand and in the other is my phone playing out classical movie soundtracks. Maybe I'll just go sit in a cafe and do some people watching and journaling. All I know is that the vibes fucking hit different. Self-care dates are just immaculate in autumn. And this fit, if I may say so myself, is also immaculate and is also perfect for going on a self-care date. I got these red trousers in New York and they have been a lifesaver. They're so fucking comfortable and they fit me so well. And then this waistcoat that I recently got to actually just to wear it by itself, you know, a cheeky bit of flesh. However, it makes me feel a little bit dysphoric. So I had to remedy it with using it as a layer. This outfit's kind of give me like berries and cream, but if berries and cream trend was invented in 2014, do you get my vibe? But it's also giving me like main character energy. So it is an all-rounder outfit. It's perfect for anything. Thank you for coming along for this very short rundown of fits that I would wear to university and I actually do wear them y'all, I'm not just making these fits up just for the sake of the video, like you can ask my friends. I like being the center of attention, I like dressing to impress, like I like my clothes and I will wear them every single day even if I'm only going for an hour lecture and then coming straight back home again to work on said editing of videos. <laughs> I hope you got some inspiration from this, let me know if you want to see any more fashion videos in the future. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.